been a while since I've done an update about my housing situation because we were busy with the move and we still don't have everything with us yet um, also one of the reasons is because I was living in between like two places so my belongings are kind of split in two houses mainly and so it's one of the reasons why I haven't hired a mover and I've just been slowly bringing things uh, to my new place in batches I've moved in for just slightly over a week I would say it's been about roughly 10 days since we moved in and during these 10 days, I have been rushing to clean everything and also buy like any uh, last minute furniture. So if I'm being honest, my house is still far from being 100% completed. There are still quite a number of bare walls. I've already done quite a few renovation videos on my channel. So if you'd like to know what I did to my home renovation wise, you can feel free to just catch up on all the videos that I have posted before because I do run through with you the renovation um, things that I have done in my home and also the things that I've kind of not done but I will provide a more thorough breakdown in the future um, just to share with you our overall cost as well as how much we save during this process. Okay, I suppose let's start from the main door because the newest thing that we installed is actually the Samsung door lock. So maybe I can show you. So it does come with a fingerprint scan as well as a number lock and a key card and it also has a manual key in case the battery runs out and it locks automatically. Not sure if you caught it, but there is a double bolt lock. So this lock actually doesn't come with a doorbell. So our doorbell is a manual doorbell with just a traditional doorbell sound. So panning a little bit out, that is the stool that I got from Taobao, which is supposed to be a stool for anyone to wear their shoes much easier so they don't have to be bending over outside you know over their shoes i also got a door stopper because this door is a bto door and if you are someone who owns a bto i think a door stopper is honestly very useful because this door is um it does need a door stopper or else it'll just keep swinging shut these door mats uh, from Taobao as well. And this is our DB box, so all our um, internet routers are in here. The LAN cable is there as well. So that is the situation in here. I actually didn't um, figure out much about the DB box. I left it to my fiance, so I don't really 100% understand what is going on in here. I think one of this is the modem and the other one is the router and that's as much as I know. So for the DB box originally, this shelving wasn't there. Um, my contractor had to install it for us and I asked him to or else we wouldn't have any space to put these two things. Okay, moving out of the DB box now, this is the entryway. So um, as you can see, my sofa is just there. So there isn't really a lot of space from the main door to the sofa, but it could also be because I have a larger sofa, but we'll get to that in a bit. So this is the entryway console that I have. So this entire cupboard is from Taobao. And what I have kept inside for now are like, any um, manuals like user manuals or you know boxes and all that basically anything that belongs in the living room or anything that was unpacked in the living room is sitting in this cupboard right now i'm not going to open it right now because it's, it is a bit of a mess i'm waiting for some organizational boxes to organize the space i guess turning right off the entryway console and also the first thing you see when you walk in through the door is our sofa our tv console as well as our television so this tv is the samsung frame tv we went for the teak um, bezel i think I'm not so sure. I think it's a lighter wood color. And then this sofa is from Cutlery. 
So, I mean, if I had everything according to plan, I love the sofas from Originals, they are very comfortable, but they are a little bit expensive and we are just not prepared to spend that kind of money yet. So let me talk to you a little bit about this sofa. I think this is the Dawson sofa, if I remember correctly. I'm still trying to style it, so I'm just still trying to figure it out, but it's actually very comfortable. Um, this layout feels like kind of like a campfire uh, layout, I guess. <laughs> so we went for a three-seater sofa. So I'm very specific about the type of sofa that I want, right? I wanted a three-seater sofa but only with two cushions, like two seat cushions like that. Main reason is because um, whoever, it's like if you have three, um, kind of like three seating cushions, it's not 100% comfortable, um, I feel, because technically this, if you want to, you can actually sit uh, for people. It might be a little bit squeezy, but at least um, sitting on the dividers wouldn't be that um, uncomfortable. So this pillow is from Spotlight. I think it has um, like palm tree design on it. So it's like a faded um, mauve pink um, palm tree, if you can see. And these cushions came with the sofa. That cushion over there was a gift from my sister as well as this throw. So both of these are from Akemi. Um, I think they are still available if you want to purchase them. So this is a knit uh, throw which is very comfortable. It comes with little pom-poms at the end. And I think the color theme is very nice. So it kind of blends in very well. And the coffee table that just came in is called the Gilly Coffee Table. Um, this is from Island Living. It's about 65 centimeters in diameter. Literally just came this morning. Reason being is because I did buy an incorrect coffee table, which is sitting over there right now. Unfortunately, it is too big for this space. That a uh, coffee table measures 80 cm so it's definitely too big so i downsized to this which measures 65 cm so if i peel back the wrapping this is the color of the coffee table which again matches my overall theme very well this coaster is a gift from my sister as well okay i'm almost done with the living room this is a little poof um, also from Castlery because they were having some discounts I think at the end of October So I bought this along with the sofa set because I thought since there's so um, much white and linen and cream colors in the living room I thought to introduce a little pop of color with this mauve pink um, poof so that it kind of brings some uh, warmth and liveliness and a little bit of color back into the space without being very overwhelming okay those of you who have watched my one of my carpentry videos you would be familiar with this console table because I shared a little bit more detail about this console table so if you're only looking to buy this console table in Singapore I believe Ruma has quite a number of these and you can also customize your coffee your console table with them i'm just kind of giving a little bit of the shout out because that's originally where i saw these kind of console tables at i didn't buy them from ruma but if you prefer to buy from a singapore uh, retailer then you can actually check out ruma this is my tv console table um, if you had watched my previous video on, I think it's called Carpentry Part 1, I did go into a little bit more of an in-depth review into this console table itself. So if you want to know more about this uh, TV console table, you can go and check out my Carpentry Part 1 video. I do have some timestamps, so you can just uh, fast forward to the part where I talk about this. I received this console table, there weren't holes at the back and as you can see we did install like a sound bar and we in installed a TV so we do have some uh, cables that are actually in this console table itself so it's sliding doors and that is how it's looking like right now 
it does look a little bit crazy um, because there are quite a number of electronics in this space so we do have LAN cables which is this white one I think it's that white one okay I'm not too sure I'm really um, I did leave everything to do with electrical applications to my fiance we do have two holes so one at the one for the bottom rack and also one for the top rack so both holes I did forget to tell the um, China vendor the Taobao vendor who customized this for us I did forget to tell her to install those holes so I did have my contractors workers actually cut those holes out for us so that we can route our wires through it so that's it with the console TV so when you close it um, that's how it looks like it's very seamless and very neat before we carry on to the corridor, I'm just going to turn your attention a little bit to the right hand side. So this is the coffee table that I said was an incorrect purchase and it's just chilling there right now while we decide what to do with it because we didn't use it very much. It's like very light usage. Maybe it's just to put things on it mainly. And we also do clean the worktop pretty often so because it's kind of brand new we are thinking of selling it okay now i'm walking over to the kitchen that is our automatic um, waste bin from taobao it does bag itself <laughs> and it does seal off the trash bag so it's also chargeable as well it's not going to be here permanently it's just here for convenience right now i think in the future when we actually receive the proper dining table that I ordered this is not gonna be here okay I'm in the kitchen right now because there are a few things that we did but renovation wise um, we actually didn't touch the kitchen it is as is where we bought it so the fridge is here um, it has a few things in it right now I have some ice cream which my parents gifted me as well as some frozen meat and honestly my fridge is very empty <laughs> Okay, so this is the filtered glass door. I did talk about this in my carpentry video. So I just wanted to show it to you now because it can finally be moved. So it works like a PD door. So you do close it up there and then you slide it shut. Yeah, so that's how it looks like. It comes with a lock mechanism, which is a little bit different from the toilet door locks. So you can lock it this way. And now it's locked. And unlock I don't think I'll ever use the lock and unlock function um, also because we don't have children but it is good it's a good feature to have it's good to know that this door is still lockable in case you have kids and you don't want them running into the kitchen so because I didn't really renovate the kitchen much um, the main things I can talk to you about are the appliances so this is the water dispenser we decided to go with this is the Ruhan's water dispenser and then you can see that white pipe uh, actually runs through the back of the carpentry so there are tiny little holes that they have to drill because it does feed directly from the water tap at the sink so there are filters in here the main reason why we went with Ruhans is because we just wanted a water dispenser where we can change the filters ourselves instead of calling people down. Um, it's just a personal preference and also I think in picking a water dispenser, you have to kind of know your lifestyle before you actually make this purchase. Okay, and then this little uh, paper roll holder is from Taobao and I have it stuck to the bottom of the cabinets here using some 3M stickers. So far it's holding up well also because this is a very light item. And then this is the tap, uh, the sink situation right now. We have a clean washing sponge, this um, automatic um, hand soap dispenser also from Taobao. The tap is from Taobao as well. The reason why this duck is here is to catch any water that drips down from this handle. I think if I could have you know designed this space myself I wouldn't have had the countertop here. Um, I'll kind of make sure that this the water from our wet hands that actually touch this part of the tap wouldn't drip directly onto the countertop. Okay, turning left from the stove is our service yard situation. So 
these these all arrived i would say um over the weekend so that is our washing machine turning left of the washing machine that is our laundry basket um, right now and it's from Taobao and that is a little push cart kind of thing which I have some detergent on right now um, I wanted a push cart so that it's easy to move around um, I can still do you know I can still make changes to this space and I have a step stool over here um, because we do have high cabinets not just in the kitchen but in our wardrobe as well <clears throat> and then some little mops in that little corner there Okay, to the left hand side of that is the actual cooking area so this is the stove that we have right now i had it swapped out um, because the previous stove um, only had two burners so now we have three and then that chopping board and this little um, utensil holder thing so this is from island living as well and i like it very much <laughs> it also has that little uh, fluted design over there which um, matches the door very well so this is also a gift from my friend who visited from indonesia so she told me you have to cook that uh, or fry it before eating <laughs> so i just put it there um, to remind myself to give it a try this rice cooker is from toyomi it is a touch screen rice cooker i'm not going to talk too much about it yet because i haven't tried it out but i bought it mainly because of the color theme can you tell Okay, so if you're wondering where my um, utensils are right now, this is my utensil drawer. And the other two drawers is mainly keeping um, all the plates and bowls that we have. So I have a variety. Um, most of them are from Table Matters. I think this is from Table Matters. That is from Table Matters. So is the plate. Those are from those are from Crate and Barrel. I did talk about them in my Crate and Barrel haul. If you want a very comprehensive video into all the Crate and Barrel utensils that I have, these are from Bangkok. I think those are from Bangkok as well. So maybe I can show you a little bit. That's how it looks like. It is half glazed, and these were handmade, which I love very much. I love handmade pottery very much. I mean, I would support handmade pottery and in here i think they are a mix of table matters and crate and barrel so for example this is from table matters these okay these i'm struggling to remember because they are absolutely beautiful i have two of them one for myself one for my fiance i really don't know where these are from i cannot remember he says it's from bangkok are uh, so beautiful i can't wait to head back there to maybe buy more pottery i think we have plenty of plates and bowls for two people okay we're heading out of the kitchen right now this tour is gonna be a bit long because i didn't expect to be so in-depth so this is the corridor area right now i am waiting for a mirror which is going to arrive on thursday um, I am filming this on a Monday so the mirror is gonna arrive on Thursday I will just kind of put a photo of the one that I bought is the Maluku hand crafted border mirror I think also from Island Living I love Island Living very much um, and I'm very excited to receive that mirror because it looks absolutely beautiful and i'm kind of fi kind of figuring out how to style the corridor so besides the mirror i have this little ladder this ladder is from ruma i actually hauled it onto public transport but it's not that heavy um i think it was about a hundred ish dollars kind of the logic that i had behind it is i wanted something that looks good and also a good place to hang throws um, for the sofa because we do use the living room aircon and it's quite a strong aircon so having a throw is definitely useful so that we don't get too cold this is the storeroom on the left um, which will also be directly opposite the mirror i am not going to open it because it is a mess <laughs> so it's going to stay closed <laughs> Also, because this is the storeroom, what it means is that this wall and that wall are not hackable. You can't hack them and you also can't tamper with these walls. 
So if I'm going to style it, I will actually be using 3M stickers to stick something on the wall. To the opposite side of the storeroom is the common bedroom that we have, which is a crazy mess right now because we are in the process of still unpacking our things. I do have another chest of drawers that is going to arrive at the end of this month towards the end of this month because um, I mean it's more storage for us as well nothing to complain about that and then this is the common bathroom just outside the second bedroom that we have so if I turn on the light for you that is how it looks like right now so it has already been used um, my fiance uses this bathroom mainly I did style it with a bathroom scent which is sea salt amber from Huga if you are interested. It comes with that little blue wrapping. I am trying to introduce shades of pastel blue in this space. And yeah, I would say what I'm doing, which is a really silly thing, is I did try to match the colour of the hand soap with the hardware that's in this bathroom. And yeah, that is how it's looking like. And that is the mirror that we have. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the floor mats are from Epitex. I got them from Shopee. So anyway, I do think that they are still available. I bought it in white, not because I want everything white, but they only had it in white and black left. And I think based on the color theme of my house, I think white just looks better. That dustbin is from Taobao. So I guess let's head on in to the master bedroom. Before that, I will share really quickly on this wardrobe that I have. So if you want a more in-depth view of this wardrobe, you can head on over to Carpentry Part 2 where I did talk a little bit more about this wardrobe. So yeah, this wardrobe was fabricated by my contractor and I love it very much. I mean, it's something that we use every day. So in terms of renovation, it's not something that we will compromise on quality-wise. So in the overhead compartment, we do have bed sheets, And in here, we just have our regular clothing. So turning to the left side, this is kind of the main attraction right now in the master bedroom is the bed. So this is the bed that we have. The mattress is from Wusa. It's a king size bed, but if you notice, there is a little bit of a gap because my bed frame is from Taobao and for king size um, bed frames, they tend to follow American sizing and my mattress is European sizing, but again, Bed frame is something that we can change and I think this little gap is something that we can live with because if we want a quilt eventually, then we have space for it. Okay, so this is the overall view of my master bedroom right now. Please kind of ignore the curtain color. It is not a permanent fixture. I'm kind of loaning these curtains from my curtain vendor while I wait for my proper curtains to arrive. So that little side table is from Taofao and I think there's something similar in IKEA just not in white. Again, it's not a permanent fixture because until the curtains are installed is until when I can confirm on the bedside table size that I have. So this is the feature wall color that I have above the bed frame. If you are looking for a similar color, it is called Birch Patina from Nippon Paint Collection. Please don't use my camera as a reference. I think that the Nippon Paint brochure itself is more accurate in terms of color depiction. But this is how um, it looks like on my wall. I went for a half painted wall. So stuff on the bed. So like I mentioned, we have the Wusa King mattress, which I will link in the description box um, so that you can find it and kind of learn more about its properties. It is very comfortable. It is made of six layers, I think. And what I did is we have a mattress protector on top of it. So there is a little mattress protector um, from IKEA. We went with the one that is uh, cooling in nature. The bed sheets that we have are tensile bed sheets from Bellamy. 
So yeah, we have in two colors. So there's a sage green and the white color. So far, we are enjoying it very much. The plushies are an obsession of mine. That is from Sumiko Gurashi and that is pushy as a donut. In terms of lighting for this space, we have the same floor lamp from Cuslery. So it's the same one as the study. Um, we actually purchased two lamps. So this is my master bathroom situation. I'm still trying to figure out how to aesthetically organize this, but this is the real true being lived in. That's it for a very quick house tour. I think for the next house tour video, hopefully my dining table will already be here so that I can talk more about it. I do look forward to, you know, maybe posting more videos about my, how we live and our lifestyle in this house. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions about our place, any of the appliances that you see, um, feel free to let me know, drop us a DM or leave a comment in the comment section below and I will see you in the next video. Bye!